Hey friends, what's up? We're hanging out here. Michelle's getting granola bars. Um, I'm eating a bagel with cream cheese. We're having our snacks or late lunch. Um, hope you're doing well. This is Tabletop Tonight, Tabletop Live Network. Um, <laughs> we're hanging out waiting for Benita to rate us. Figured, hey, we're just gonna hang out and chill. Wanna say hi to Brian Ashman, hello, woo woo. And uh, Jen Cam plays board games. Good to see you, friend. Yeah, we're hanging out, being chill because we've got a great stream. Figure we're gonna we're eating because it's perfect because it's a game called Delicious. <laughs> this you got this salmon cream cheese that's actually pretty good. I was I'm pretty surprised. It's yeah. got that smokiness to it that I like. It's a little salty for my taste, but you know I can see that. Yeah, it's a lot cheaper than buying salmon. Yeah, like a thinly sliced salmon. <laughs> yeah, now it is not as good as the real thing, no. but it's not a bad substitute. So, um, I believe Benita's coming over for the raid right now. Hello, Arc Lightning. Oh, hi, Ben Osteen. Good to see you. Watch up. You don't, if you don't want to eat on camera, blend up the bagel and it just looks like you're drinking. Yeah. <laughs> that is right. a good thing. That is the right way to do it. <laughs> Benita, thank you for the raid. Welcome, friends. This is Tabletop Live Network. I'm Ruel Gaviola with my partner in crime, Michelle Gaviola. Hello. Welcome. We are eating and uh, drinking. We want to know what your stream snacks are. What are y'all uh, eating and or drinking for the duration of the marathon, because that's an important thing here. Um, we didn't really have a proper lunch. This is sort of like a brunchy, snacky type of thing, right? Well, well can I say why it's a brunchy, snacky type of thing? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we thought we were on at one thirty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then realized that we were not on at one thirty. We it, were on at what? <laughs> exactly. Uh, you know what? Uh, Eva says, where's the raid helmet? Eva, this is the raid helmet for now. Oops. Uh, this is a 2023 welcome a Raiders. My hat is off to you. It's more of a top hat. We retired the Raid helmet because, uh, yeah, you didn't want to smell that thing. Yeah, you did not want to smell that thing. It, it, it wasn't pretty. Uh, but um, we are going to be making a new one. Um, we got some ideas. Uh, it's I, I can't believe it. it's already at the end of January. You know, this year has already flown by. Uh, it's been a month in. We hope you're doing well, friends. Uh, thank you for hanging out. Yeah, I was just thinking because, you know, yeah. I always talk about COVID brain because uh, I'm certain it's real. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it totally is a thing. And it's been about a year yeah. since I had COVID. Yeah, January last so, year. That's right. Mm -hmm. Uh, Eva Little, thank you for the follow. This is Felicia the Followfish. We still have Felicia. Uh, she shows up whenever there's a new follower. She swims around, says hello, then she swims away. And all of us, including y'all in chat, we say, Bye, Bye Felicia. Felicia. Thank you for the follow, Eva. Thank you, Benita, for the raid. Um, saw that new game, Dice Manor, with you, Aaron, and Robert. Very cool. Um, we were, yeah, so we were eating. We just sort of been snacking. I think we need a proper lunch after this, babe. What do you think? Like, oh, I, for let's, sure. Let's go I, treat ourselves, you I know? I was thinking pupusas. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're, we're down with pupusas, <laughs> yeah. We have our local pupusaria. Oh, very, very good uh, Salvadoran food. Okay. Chef's kiss, yeah. Let, let's go there and get some. Let's address Ben Osteen's um, uh, comment here. Okay. Paw flakes and cactus lick, lick lacquerol? Oh. Licorice pastilles. Classic oh. U.S. snacks. Wow. Yeah, Ben is bringing it. International style. Very nice. Thank I you, Patrick Meeple. What are hot flakes? Uh, I don't Do know. You? No, I don't know. <laughs> ben, can you explain, please? Uh, Razor Wind says uh, Jeff's Kiss. I, I was doing Chef's Kiss, but if there's a Jeff, that's cool, too. What kind of pupusas, Eva's asking? We do the the one with the... Yeah, well, the... yeah what is it? It's the chicharron, like sort of porky... Mashed up I pork, think, basically, I think, right? Yeah, I think there's beans in it, too. Yeah. I'm not even sure. Yeah. It's just delicious. But that's the one we always go to. Uh, hi, Brain and Jar. Thank you for hanging out with us, folks. We are going to be raiding Brain and Jar after this. Um, Casey and Miguel got a great game coming up as well. Uh, hello, B. Travis. Thank you for the Bye Felicia's. Uh, yeah, Ben, I, the Hawks Flakes, I don't know what those are. I'm curious. Deadpan's in the house. Bims is in the house. Book of Nerds. Johnny Deathhawk. Yo. Uh, Dutch Yoda, yes, a bunch of TLNers here. This is great. Thank you, friends, for hanging out with us. Uh, bottom shelf again with the classic, uh, just blend up your bagel and uh, drink on camera. <laughs> Arc Lightning is here. Uh, friends, if you're not already part of the Fam Bam over on our Discord, please join our Discord channel. We have a great time over there. We've got all kinds of stuff happening. And you know what? I want to let you all know, too. Not only do... Okay, so we have day one of the TLN today. We have d day two of TLN tomorrow. Uh, Mike and I are going to do the pre-show. Then we've got a whole day of streaming there. On Monday, January 30th, come back to our channel here. 
it's my birthday and I'm going to celebrate by streaming all day. I'll be taking breaks. I mean, the it'll still stream, but you know, I'm going to take my, you know, you know, little breaks and uh, lunch break and everything, but I'm going to be playing games all day long, hanging out with some people. We're going to, you know, um, have them on screen. Uh, no one here physically. Um, it'll just be me and the pugs. Uh, but I'll be giving, we're going to be giving out games all day long. We've got a lot of publishers, um, excuse me, who have generously donated a bunch of games to give away. So as long as you're watching, you're eligible. Um, we're going to be doing some subscriber only giveaways, uh, Discord giveaways, uh, and then user, you know, anyone that's watching as well. So Monday's going to be a lot of fun. Come celebrate my birthday with me. I'm going to be all by myself, folks. You don't want that. You know, you want to hang out with me and uh, make sure I don't get all sad because I'm all by myself. Michelle's going to be uh, working. So, wah, wah, wah. I'll be crying uh, by myself. No, I'm going to be enjoying my birthday with you all. So uh, hang out, uh, friends. Uh, bottom shelf, thank you. Yes, happy 27th birthday. Uh, it is my 27th. It's the... It's close. It's close. <laughs> close enough. <laughs> like, if you're talking over under, it's way over, but, you know. <laughs> okay, so I just Googled ha, and... Oh, Michelle getting the uh, info. Nice. Well, I'm curious, because I never heard of this. <laughs> and it, Hawaiian Airlines kept coming up, so I actually had to put in, what is ha? <laughs> okay, so it is a fruit. Oh, okay. Um, known as Mountain Hawthorn. Uh, I've seen those before. Okay. So interesting. I don't know. What is is this like? Staff Raccoon just had a coffee. Maybe needs another one. Ooh. Apple consistency. I don't know. I'll read it later. Okay. Okay. Cool. Oh, uh, Brian's birthday was uh, the twenty third. Brian, happy belated birthday. Uh, very nice to see you. Come by on Monday. And you got a shot to win a game, my friend. Uh, and everyone's welcome, of course. Uh, Jen Kim says, oh, "Guess I better skip my classes on Monday." Now I don't want to get anyone in trouble, <laughs> you know. But maybe lurk while while you work or go to school because uh, there's gonna be a lot of we have a lot of games. There, we've got over a dozen games. We may have close to two dozen games to give away, folks. And there's some good stuff. I'm gonna I'll let you on a secret. Uh, you know, I'll spoil one of them. Because there's a lot of good stuff. Little games, big games, medium. I'm going to be giving a copy of My Father's Work away. That's one of them, folks. If you've seen it, I, I have the box back here. Seriously, you, you lift it up, you're going to uh, hurt your back. It's like it's like this wide. It's like many, many pounds. But that's one of the games we're going to give away. Got a lot of great stuff. So come back on Monday, please. Uh, bottom shell says round down a little. Yeah, round it. Oh, yeah, round down a little from a hundred. <laughs> Thank you for the uh, birthday uh, greetings, friends. And as uh, Razor Wind says, happy beef day. Thank you. <laughs> Folks, we've got a great game today. We want to thank our sponsors, Pencil First Games, for uh, sponsoring this um, uh, stream. And also, they're going to be sponsoring the next two Fridays. What are the next two Fridays? Glad you asked, Ruel. The next two Fridays are Pencil First Fridays. I'll be playing uh, Herbaceous and the Whatnot Cabinet uh, on consecutive Fridays, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern. But here's the cool thing. They have come up with special event cards that are happening only on those Fridays. So you got to come by, um, watch it live here on Twitch, or of course I poured them over to YouTube as well, and I edit them down um, a bit too. So either way, you get to play along with us, uh, Herbaceous, and then the Whatnot Cabinet, and you're going to see uh, these events are really cool. I'm so excited. Um, I want to thank Jessica and uh, Eduardo for partnering with me, and uh, those events are going to be really cool, and we'll be giving away copies of the games as well, so lots of good stuff happening with Pencil First. Uh, they are awesome, and I hope you all uh, can join us. Uh, thank you, Slivers, for the uh, bits. Hey, where's Benny? Benny's uh, in hibernation here. He's been in hibernation a little while. I think I've seen Benny at all this year. Oh, okay. Yeah. So <laughs> you spend bits, I come out of hibernation. Hello, friends. I'm Benny the Bits Fair. Let's all sing, Michelle, shall we? For slivers. Benny and the bits, 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 bits. Ba 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 da bits. Thank you, friends. Did y'all watch that? Um, I'm I'm spitting all over here. Uh, did y'all watch that? Uh, what was it? Elton John on uh, Disney Plus. Um, that was the concert. That? Yeah, the concert. And, you know, obviously he's past his prime. Uh, he had some, you know, some shaky moments there, I thought. But overall, I mean, the guy is like, he's up there. And he still put on a pretty good show. Uh, just, it amazes me how many hits that guy had. Like, all the songs. Oh my gosh, like, gosh yeah. It's like this, like, historical, I don't know, artifact of pop music from the 70s. So about, what, the 80s, 90s or whatever. I mean, he's... Still got it. He's singing know. with Britney Spears now. Yeah, that's so. right. Britney and he brought out uh, was it, uh, Dua Lipa and a couple of other artists. I mean, I thought it was uh, a really good show. 
again, now, again you know, you, you, he's not, he's ch singing in different keys now because his mm -hmm. voice isn't mm -hmm. all there. And uh, are you okay there? I didn't twist I, it all I, the way. I, I did that the other day with this thing. I forgot, I had the Yeti Ooh, thing. Like uh -huh. this was like this. And I took a sip. I was like, whoop. Yeah. Whoa. Sort of oh, wow. Yeah, be, be careful out there, friends, when you're drinking. I got a lot of water on my shirt. <laughs> Well, um, on that note, well, we'll, we'll uh, switch over to this scene. So we, uh, you know, as Michelle cleans up, uh, we are playing some uh, delicious from our friends at Pencil First Games. This is a roll and write, friends. So you can play along. We're going to give you a few minutes. Uh, go to this link right here. I'm going to hit the sponsor link. Uh, there is a printable worksheet. Uh, you can print it right now. There's low ink versions, or you can just, you know, use your iPad, you know, and use like a little, um, what was it paint program or whatever to mark it. It's a really clever um, a game by Steve Finn. Um, I'm a huge fan of Steve Finn. Uh, Rado calls him like the king of the fillers. I think his games that are 20, 30 minutes blow away some games that are, are hours or even just, I mean, the little box that it comes in, I mean, some of the best games out there. I mean, this is size just like Herbaceous and Floriferous and that, you know, tiny epic Galaxies style box. But boy, Steve Finn's games are outstanding. I, I love them all. You know, I mentioned the two I'll be playing. Those are two of my favorites, Herbaceous and Whatnot Cabinet. Those will be on the next couple of Fridays. And I just think he's such a fabulous designer, so I'm excited to be doing this. You got a question? No, I'm just laughing at a comment. Oh, what's the time. comment? Oh, we got to, yeah, we got to throw it up here. <laughs> the last one. Oh. <laughs> Is it as delicious as a salmon bagel smoothie? <laughs> I don't think anything's as delicious as a salmon bagel smoothie. Uh, game of Thrones, thank you. Yes, this is a fantastic <laughs> game. Uh, thank you for joining us, Aaron. Aaron and Benita were uh, just streaming on uh, the previous stream here, folks. If you just joined us, this is Tabletop Live Network. Uh, we do this every month. This is, I think, number 27 now. Yeah, over two years, friends. We're very, very proud of what we do. And uh, I, you know, I say it all the time, and I truly mean it. I'm very honored to be part of the group. Um, Y'all do fantastic stuff, and we are, you know, humbled by uh, all of you hanging out with us, uh, watching with us. They, hello, Legends. Aloha, friend. Good Aloha. to see you. Aloha. Aloha. We'll be teaching a little delicious, but don't forget, folks, download your um, score sheet now if you don't have it already. We'll teach the game. Um... Could I, uh, let me see. So, okay, so we've got two score sheets here. And what this is, you have the score sheet, the normal score sheet here that comes with the game. And then on the flip side, you have the low ink version or the less um, busy, busy version. Yeah. Uh, so Michelle's going to be playing on that side. I'll be playing this. Uh, for those of you downloading at home, I think it's this one that comes on the, uh, the free download. Um, and actually, I think it has this included. Because we actually get two sheets in the game here. Can you move the uh, soft chewies there? Thanks. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, no worries. Um, so you're going to have two sheets. One's going to tell you what moves you can do here. And you're filling up your garden here. You have six containers for veggies. Three here, three here. And then one planter for the fruits right here. And uh, good afternoon, Miyoko. Thank you for the first time chat. Welcome. This is Tabletop Live Network. This is our channel, Tabletop Tonight. And today we're sponsored by Pencil First Games. We're playing Delicious. So... What we're doing is Michelle and I are going to be planting veggies and fruits. Uh, sometimes we'll have tools to help us out. Uh, it's going to play over 12 rounds. There are 12 uh, cards in each stack here. We'll just flip over one at a, uh, two at a time and do an action. Every turn, you're going to have a choice. You're going to have a plant choice. You're going to either take one plant as it is, so either top or bottom. You would see the arrows here, top or bottom. You can take two as is. You will take both of those. You can take one but switch it or re reverse it. So in this case, the broccoli, if it's on the bottom, you'll actually be the top. So that corresponds to what container you're placing them in. So if I took, if I placed one as is and I chose broccoli, that means I have to write a broccoli in one of the bottom containers. Okay, and then I will also get a tool. The tool, what that does is it allows you to get any one fruit or veggie. You put the fruits here. And then the veggie, if you decide to put the veggie, you're going to look at the token. Uh, in this case, it's a little rake, um, a little hand rake. And you'll find that token. You'll have to put the little hand rake uh, in the hand rake here if it is available. Okay. In this case, it is not. But you could take a fruit and just look here for the hand rake. And hey, anything in the column, you put a fruit. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So I wasn't playing correctly earlier. Oh, then. what happened? 
Because I thought it had to be like right next to whatever. Oh like, no, um, it's the col- roller column, roller column. Now in that okay. case, um, I believe it's this here where you put it next to the. Uh, no, actually, it was roller column for these as well, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's uh, you get your fruits. So the fruits and veggies are here. Uh, you have your veggies, lemon, mushroom, and so forth. Fruits, blueberry, figs, and so forth. Now, what's fun is you can, on the back of the rule book, they actually tell you how to draw these things with the very neat little instructions. I am not that adventurous. I'm scared to because my, my fruits will end up looking like pugs or something. Um, <laughs> so you can always use letters. Uh, for the capital letters, that's veggies, L, lettuce, and mushroom. Fruits, you have the little G for grape, the little S for strawberry, and so forth. All right. So, this is so much fun. I love, love, love this game. Uh, game of Thieves says, I made the same mistake the first couple of times I played in the veggie area with the tools. Yeah, you got to be careful of that. So, uh, Aaron, since you're here, we'll get a rules clarification. When you write the veggies here with a fr- uh, tool, so this tool gives me any veggie, you still have to go in the uh, position. So, if I chose the bottom here, then I have to still go here. Is that correct? And also, can I put that uh, tool on either side? Like, this is... The little hand rake i would put either here or here which it doesn't really matter they have to be the same okay so you'll notice that uh, each one scores differently in this case this top container has to be different all of these have to be different veggies this one has to be different pairs so this could be lemon lettuce lettuce onion onion this one they all have to be the same so perhaps all mushrooms this one they have to be different pairs again so you know um carrot carrot pepper pepper and so forth this one they all have to be the same again all the same maybe all onions and then this one they all have to be different so three of different and then the score points here you don't get these cumulatively lead it's um whatever the highest row you'll get that point value uh b travis thank you for the sub i really appreciate it there's sub for three months in advance wow b travis you're the best thank you so much um then we go over here to the fruits these are going to score based on column or row if you have Three or more, depending if they're different or the same, okay? So if you have three strawberries in a row, you'll get uh, three points. If you have a strawberry, a grape, um, a fig, and a watermelon, that's four different, you will get two points, and so forth, so forth. Games of Fire, hello. Thank you for the uh, TLN hype. Uh, So we play 12 rounds, and then we're going to score them up. Uh, You just turn over this, you'll score them. But let me talk about the wild spots and bonus spots. This I forgot to, um, you, know, it's, you tend to forget because it's right here. You're so focused on this. But don't forget, at any time, if you have a veggie, you can put it here in the wild. So, for instance, I could take that broccoli, put the uh, B here or draw broccoli here. And that means it becomes a, a, any uh, uh, veggie I want that I can place in the garden. Okay? Or in the containers. Uh, and then also, hi, Caffeinated Connect. Good to see you here. And also, we also have the... Um, wild fruit so if i got a fruit like this watermelon i could put the watermelon here and that means i could put any fruit if i didn't want that watermelon in my planter okay the bonus spots if i put for instance this broccoli up here at the end of the game i would get two points for every container that has broccoli so a max of 12 points or six containers and then uh, this one here the fruit whatever fruit i put here for instance this watermelon at the end of the game each watermelon i have in my planter is worth one point Okay, so that's the game explanation. Uh, we're going to be playing. Please play along with us. Uh, I'll drop it one more time in chat. There's the <laughs> downloadable sheet. Let us know how you score and um, let us know how you did. We'll be playing this and we're going to be giving away a copy, friends. Now, this is U.S. only. So if you're a U.S. resident, you will be entered. Uh, well, we're going to give you a secret word at the um, somewhere probably towards the end of the game. And uh, you'll be able to win your own very own copy thanks to our sponsor, Pencil, uh, Pencil, no, 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 Pencils First. Okay, Michelle, are we ready to go? Yes, and I think last when we practiced, uh-huh. <laughs> I did another thing wrong. Oh, well, no. Um, Whoa. My nice bagel just fell. Thanks. Um, I thought you had to look at the entire, like, row or column. Uh-huh. And I think I had some that were, like, I don't know, let's just say three figs together. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah, I don't think I scored mine right. I still won. Oh yeah, no, you you, you crushed me. <laughs> but, but maybe I, it wasn't bad as bad a defeat as I thought. Because well, yeah, no, because I I think I would have had more points. Oh, you might have more points. Oh my yeah. gosh. Okay, well we don't need to we don't need to redo it there. <laughs> <laughs> but let's play now. Um, so plant choice. Michelle and I were both working off this. We get to choose. 
Do we want one where they are, two as is, or one as is, two as is, or do we want one reversed, either top to bottom, bottom to top, or two anywhere? So you could take both of these and put them anywhere you want. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, I like broccoli. I like mushrooms. So I, I think I'm going to put my broccoli where it belongs. Mm -hmm. And oh. mushrooms. Okay, so these are not the same. Mm -hmm. Equal and all the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, mushrooms are going here. Okay. Okay, and then I have a watermelon that... Or, well, we have a watermelon. Wait, are you doing... Which ones are you... I thought you said... Oh. You're doing broccoli and mushroom? Yeah. Oh, okay. So both. So... Oh, that was... Up two there. as is. And I'm doing one one as is. Okay. Okay. And then... Hey, stop your razor. We got a watermelon in a star. Okay. And step, because you're starting Spanish, watermelon is sandia. Oh, I saw that, yes. Um, Steph is okay. starting Spanish classes. That's um, awesome. Sandia. Okay. So, I don't know what broccoli is in Spanish. Um, Me neither. Okay, so the little hand rake, that means we can put anything in there. Ooh, stuff from Ray's waiting for burritos. That's, yeah. Folks, I, I love this. This is a perfect game to be playing with y'all talking about food. Delicious. <laughs> I think the only vegetable, I don't even know if it's a vegetable. Is garlic a vegetable? Mm, herb, I guess. But is that in the vegetable? Like if you had fruits and vegetables? I would assume it was, yeah. It's not a it's, fruit. Yeah, it's, um, yeah. So, you know, when the pandemic started, I, I tried my hand at some growing. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, those little garlic bulbs, they take a long time. I mean, you know, I was no expert, but um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, by the time the pandemic was over, I think I had like a little garlic thing. Oh, I that's mean, right. It was very tiny, and bulb. I think <laughs> there might have been like five little cloves. And I was like, oh, this is like over a year. Yeah. So, okay, um, back to this. Where am I going to put that? Um, the tool. I, I am going to put a blueberry here in my little garden. Okay. Uh, so, when you do the tool, you can just place the fruit anywhere. But if you use this fruit here, the watermelon, which I did, you have to match uh, the um, shape. So, in this case, it's a star. I had to put in the star. Okay, so hold up. You said I could put it anywhere, but it, it has to be... Um, next to the little uh, in middle, that right? in that row or column, correct? Oh, that's right, in the yeah. row or column. So you can move it if you want. Okay, just move it right here. Okay. Yeah, that was one of the things I didn't play. For <laughs> Dutch Yoda says broccoli in Spanish is just as good. <laughs> <laughs> we obviously have no uh, some not broccoli fans here. <laughs> Garlic is one of the few things we can grow. That and potatoes. Everything else gives up in our garden. Oh. You know? okay. I can grow we weeds really well. <laughs> yeah. oh, you're my people, Eva Little. <laughs> um, okay. So now that's the end of the turn. That's it, folks. So we just compost. So that's just discard stuff. And draw two more cards and two more tokens. Now each token is double-sided. And then whatever it says here, you're just going to match up. So we have two fruits coming out. Strawberries or fresas. Mm-hmm. What are grapes? grapes? Uvas. Uvas, that's right. Then we have carrots, zanahorias, mm -hmm. and lettuce, lechuga. Lechuga. That's fun to say. Lechuga. Lechuga. Okay. Oh, okay. None of these match. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take both as is. So if I have the grapes, I got to put them in a star. Okay, and then the fresh, I mean, the strawberry has to be in a hexagon. Okay, I'm gonna think of the whole picture here. Okay, yeah. I am also gonna take everything as is. Wait, so that's yep. here. Okay, so I'm gonna do my strawberry in a hexagon. So we'll go here, and the grape in a star. Um, go here okay now i gotta deal with my veggies mm -hmm. okay so carrot um needs to stay up top okay okay i, I believe this is a sign 
Mm. Okay, because in this little area here, all three need to be the same, and mm. there are three carrots mm. there. So I, I, I am I am taking this sign. Nice. Okay, so that's a carrot, mm -hmm. and then the lettuce needs to go down below. We'll put that down here. Okay, nice. Yeah. And you got your fruits already. I do. Mm -hmm. I started with the fruits. Let's do some composting. Okay. We don't really compost. <laughs> <laughs> Although we do, um, what was it? The little food waste, the food waste thing, thing that for our the city. city gives us. Yeah. Oh. So we got a broccoli up top, okay. onion on the bottom, and we have tulle and blueberry. Hmm. Where's that blueberry going? A hexagon? Blueberry's got to go in a hexagon. Okay. Is that going to work for me? Yes. I'm going to do to anywhere so i want both those oh i on guess top. i should i should yeah. make that decision first yeah um i'm gonna switch Ooh, take okay. one but you'll switch it okay so if i switch these okay so i'm gonna put my broccoli on the bottom mm -hmm. so does that mean i take the tool the, as well oops <laughs> Yes. That's exactly what would happen in my real garden. <laughs> but do I also get the fruit or no? It depends. Are you taking what I did was take two and place them anywhere, uh -huh. or you